Hey team, so I wanted to record a video about the radial 3D sagittal sequence that we got a, as part of their new HIP protocol. This sagittal 3D PD sequence. Right click on it and then pull it to volume view. And here I created a template for radial hip. So it says hip radial here. Go ahead and go ahead and select that. Once you select that, the key point, you have to angle the coronal plane clockwise to be parallel with the neck femoral neck so and you have to be kind of precise about it they want you to be really precise once you angle that then you go back here and you've got to angle it with the femoral neck here on the sagittal view however you if you cannot see the neck properly go back up top click on the circle and by shifting the circle left or right you will be able to move in and out of the bottom image do you see how now i got the femoral neck perfectly for me right there then i let go i go back and i tilt my this yellow line with the circle i tilt it parallel to the neck right there that's a really good spot so it's about right then I go back to the bottom image. <clears throat> and again, for, in order for me to see the neck properly, I go back here and grab the circle. But now I move it since it's axial up and down. When I move it up and down, I could see the bottom image, the neck going in and out. So I'm going to put it right there where I could see the neck pretty good. Then I let go and then I'm gonna angle my yellow line here with a circle and square parallel to that neck really nicely. That's about right, gotta be really precise. So now you are ready and you could see that this image is angled, which is fine. It's totally fine because we're actually looking at the whole joint, the librum space right here so that's straight up which is that's what we want so go ahead and hit generate image you can rename it if you like we're gonna rename for test purposes and then go ahead and generate image 3d this is how it should look like so as you reformatted it the neck should not be thickened or moved in any point so you see how my femoral neck is kind of staying same thickness throughout and there is no motion this is what you want so now we're going to generate another mpr type of image for reference so we have to do a step two here we go okay again you have to click on 3d sagittal sagittal pd and load it into the view volume view and then go ahead and proceed right on to uh, generate series. And here I created another template and it's called femoral neck. When you click on that, you'll, you'll get the stacks like this. So it has to be short axis and short axis plane for femoral neck. So you have to be perpendicular with this femoral neck here on this and it's gonna come out like this then you're gonna go into the second image here and move it in and out by as as you as you know move it in and out make sure you get the femoral neck really well visualized right there then tilt it's pretty good at least looks pretty good ignore this view completely because that's just a double oblique view you're gonna get confused so only these two views you're an in interest of only these two views 
and it should come up already good. So I would just kind of center this a little bit more. Okay, so now hit, and I already renamed it, it's femoral neck transverse. Go ahead, hit generate image. All right, I'm gonna show you why they need these two and how they're referencing. So I'm gonna pull my femoral neck here and I'm gonna pull our reformatted 3D here. All right, and I'm gonna point it right onto the femoral head right there, perfect circle. And I'm gonna reference this, but reference it. And here you see how it's perfect circle. And now as we go in and out of this set of images, we have a perfect reference with the yellow, the green line. So this is what the radiologist is gonna want and surgeon's gonna want. If they see any, any obstructions or narrowing or ruptures here in this portion, they are gonna want to reference that here in the and mark it for surgery or for whatever reason. So send these both sequences to PAX and we're all done. All right, thanks for watching. Hi, Michelle.